I'm going to show you this uh, kind of how to video using the auto eject fixed needle. Well, I'm not 100% sure what it's called. I can look that up afterwards. Anyway, it comes in two pieces. Now, this one here I already have cocked, so it's spring loaded already. Okay. This is the other end. This end right here is adjustable for how far the needle will stick out. Uh, it comes with another part, and I generally try to measure my needle to be sticking out about a quarter of an inch. And that's why it has those markings on there, and it'll show you exactly where you are so that you can keep it in that position. Because it does move, it twists and it moves. Another thing that's important to know, I found this out the hard way, is this needle here, it's already filled. It's filled with water just like I for the demonstration. But if you look at these barrels here, okay, the one on the right is a short needle. Actually, it, that's a U40 needle. Um, but you have to use at least a half cc long needle or else it will not, the needle doesn't protrude out of the auto injector. So you have to have at least a half cc needle which is what I have right here, if it doesn't focus. But anyway, that's a half cc needle. Okay, so anyway, what you do, as I told you, I've got water in my needle. Take this, there's your needle. The needle fits into that barrel right there. So you just take it, try not to touch anything with your needle to keep it clean. And I just kind of drop it in, and when you drop it in, it self-seats in that plastic ring there and then you take this end here and again it's cocked already you can see it's sticking out the end and you screw it in now the nice thing about this it has a safety right here if this does not come down in the gauge so that the window looks like that it it will click it only when that happens so here I have it like this and I hit the injector nothing happens. If I click it like that and hit this button, it will inject. So the reason I show it like this is because I want you to see what actually happens. So you hold it up to your dog and say that my dog was down here. And you push this down. Okay, that it's going to push against their skin. So see, it would be like this. And then when that's pushed down and watch the insulin slowly come out just by so I engage it and then click and that's the rate at which that looked actually kind of fast I've never seen that before but uh, and that's it and then when it's done but you're standing there watching it you see you get that yellow window right there and that tells you that it's done so And again, I'm going to zoom out now. This is not the way they tell you to do it, but so see now it's cocked, and that's how the window appears when you engage it. Then the the yellow thing appears. It's there, and that's how you know that you're done with your shot. That's bad. So that's Ellie's auto injector. Okay. All right. Whenever she's ready. She's ready. Okay. Never mind. Can you? Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. So no shaking. It's not scary. So, I just grab out my skin here like this, okay, push it at the end here like that, and this here, you have to push it down, this has to, that has to engage up there, or the shot won't go. Alright, you ready good girl? I'm having a hard time getting, okay, ready? One, one, oh, that's not a lot of skin there. One, two, three, ready?
Good girl. Yes. And it's all done. And when it's all finished, I don't know if I can see it. The yellow thing comes all the way there. When you're done, just unscrew it. And there's a needle with no insulin in it. And then Ellie gets a treat after her shot. Well, I'm getting her tasty after before her shot.